Pokemon trainers. Some of them are the most expensive modern cards that you can pick up right now. But which ones are the most expensive? Well, in this video, we'll be taking a look at the top 10 most expensive Pokemon trainers that you can pull ever. And take a look. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. We are back with another top 10 list. And today we're looking at the top 10 most expensive Pokemon trainer cards. Some of these are really expensive. Now, I didn't realize how expensive some of these end up getting. And they're all pretty cool. They're all pretty recent, in all honesty. They weren't, like, really expensive that long ago. But it seems to be most of the modern sets with these full art trainers are really pushing the boat out. And they're becoming really, really pricey. But which ones are going to be number one? Well, we're going to take a look. And some of these are from, like, the Sun and Moon era. Some of them are from the Sword and Shield era. So it's going to be really interesting to see. Let me know down in the comments, guys. Which ones do you think is going to be at the top? Now, some of these have completely thrown me off. Let's dive in to number 10. Coming in at number 10, we have Cynthia from Hidden Fates. This is a fantastic trainer card. This is amazing. It's from an amazing set, let's be honest. Hidden Fates, absolutely crazy. Absolutely love this set. And this Cynthia card is amazing. It really is. It is one of the most expensive cards that you can pull in that set. Don't forget you got that shiny Charizard GX as well. This is quite pricey. As you can see here, guys, at around that, you know, mid-70s, you know, 70 to $75. If you go back six months, this card has been constantly climbing with good reason. You know, Hidden Fates are becoming harder and harder to open. This is a extremely difficult card to pull as well. And uh, yeah, the, don't forget the shiny vault shares with all the baby shinies. It actually makes it even more difficult to pull this. That's why the Charizard is so expensive as well. Overall, this is a great, great card. And it only comes in number 10, which is crazy. You know, and it's Cynthia, like it says here, you know, many characters in the Pokemon universe are memorable because of their design, their personality in the animated show. Cynthia is one of the ones where you remember, guys, if you've played through Pokemon Pearl and Pokemon Diamond, this is tough. She is tough. And I mean, especially with her Garchomp, ooh wee, tough times. Cynthia, very iconic. And that's what I mean. Anytime you see a Cynthia full art trainer, it just ends up being reasonably costed and like, you know, decent value. So you want to make sure you do pick this up. This is incredible at number 10. Coming at number nine, we have Misty's Favor from Unified Minds. Now we have opened Unified Minds before on the channel. Great set, great Sun and Moon era set. We can see here market price $85. You go back six months and it has been climbing steadily, but it has been climbing a little bit more in the recent months. Unified Minds is getting really pricey. Don't forget Sun and Moon era boxes are getting more and more expensive as time goes on. And this is just a great example. This is a beautiful looking card. Misty, one of the OG trainers right there. OG characters even. And uh, yeah, this is really cool. I really like the look of this card. Very difficult to pull. Overall, I kind of feel like it's great. I actually think it's a card where it's probably worth just picking up and then trying to pull it in Unified Minds. Just because like I say, the boxes are getting pricey. Packs are getting pricey. This is, I think, maybe the second most expensive card in that set, I believe. This is a fantastic card to pick up anyway. Overall, I would probably go ahead and pick this up whilst you still can before it reaches that $100 mark. Coming in at number eight, we have Cynthia again. This is what I'm saying, guys. This time from Ultra Prism. Cynthia is always worth value, always worth money. Let's take a look, okay? It has been climbing over the last six months. And it is fantastic. $87 right now. It's going to push 100 We know it will. Cynthia, just like it, number 10. Iconic. Everyone loves this car. Everyone loves Cynthia. It is one of the iconic trainers that you can get. Pokemon Champion. Extraordinaire. No guard trump, though. Just Cynthia on her own in this artwork. That's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. Or you really rate this. Ultra Prism. Pricey. Booster Box is pricey. Booster Packs, again, pricey. One of the more expensive uh, Sun and Moon era booster boxes. And this card is going to keep going up and up and up, especially with the prices of the booster boxes and the sealed product. You try and pull this. Next up, we have Professor Juniper at number seven from Plasma Freeze. So this is a lot older set. Professor Juniper is getting the you know milk carton treatment, so you know it's it's a popular trainer for sure. And market price now says ninety one dollars or ninety three ninety one dollars. We go back six months, okay. It has actually been slightly declining, which is quite interesting. It's a very interesting full art card nonetheless. Professor Juniper is a quite a popular professor for sure. Plasma Freeze, expensive, <laughs> very expensive. 
I would buy the card, in all honesty. I wouldn't try and crack this open. This is going to be really tough, really tough to pull. I would, yeah, like I say, I'd probably avoid it, in all honesty, trying to open this card. I would definitely pick this up. It'll probably go back over that $100 mark, but it's quite interesting that it's declined ever so slightly over time. But nonetheless, this is still going to go up and up and up over time, for sure. Plasma Freeze is an old set. And uh, yeah, Professor Juniper. Next, we have Iris from Plasma Blast, another old set. Let me take a look at this. This is a pretty cool card. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really seen this card before. So over $100 and it's kind of dropped just below 100. We go back six months, overall it has been climbing. This is a pretty cool trainer card. Like I said, it's the first time seeing this and it's actually quite nice. I actually quite like the look of this uh, and I can see why it's really popular. So yeah, Plasma Blast, expensive set, expensive set. You know, like I said, like black and white characters. Yeah, that you know, they're the first Pokemon cards to receive the full art treatment, making them the most expensive cards due to their age. Exactly. I would pick this up individually rather than try trying to crack packs for this. But yeah, this is a great full art trainer. If you can get a really well good quality one, all of these cards are great to get graded, by the way. So this is really, really good. Number five, we have Bianca. Boundaries crossed. Oof. We're getting old. We're getting old up in here, right? So 111 dropping down to around 107. We take a look. It's actually been going down ever so slightly over time. Guys, boundaries crossed. That's just expensive. Yeah, like I say, black, white era stuff. Just, just buy them. You know, I wouldn't try and open them. I would just try and pick them up. Good quality ones. They might be hard to find in a good quality conditioned one, but they are out there. You know, and uh, this is a great looking, you know, full art trainer. We haven't really seen uh, a trainer like this get here again. We haven't really seen Bianca in any other sets, I believe, recently since this. But you never know, we might do. But overall, this is a really good one to pick up. Like I say, boundaries crossed. Expensive. Plasma Freeze, Plasma Blast. You might as well just buy them. In all honesty. Number four, we have Rosa Cosmic Eclipse. This is the most expensive card in Cosmic Eclipse. One of my favorite all-time sets, especially in the Sun and Moon era as well. $120. We go back six months and it's dropped ever so slightly and it's on that little uptick because it did drop as low as like 113 overall 120 that's pretty pricey cosmic eclipse is getting really expensive as well over 500 dollars a booster box this is just worth cracking open i know the cosmic eclipse has kind of like you know a little reprints here and there in little products like the odd booster pack and would i will i buy this individually would i try and pull it it is quite pricey I would love to open more, some Cosmic Eclipse and try and pull this. So I think buying Cosmic Eclipse loose booster packs right now is actually pretty good compared to just buying a booster box. Um, buying this for 120 is quite expensive. It is at number four. This is going to be great though. It's a beautiful looking trainer card. This graded goes for an absolute ton. Cosmic Eclipse, like I say, booster boxes are really pricey. So if you can get them in the loose packs and the other products like the Arceus V bigger collection box has a Cosmic in it. Hey, you might be lucky and pull Rosa. Number three, we're coming to the top three now. We have Lysia from a Celestial Storm. Now that is really pricey, really pricey. $129, that set is getting more expensive. Again, Sun and Moon era, and it is on the uptick, heading to that $130 mark. Celestial Storm, I was looking at picking up a booster boxes the other day. These are pricey, they're not cheap. It is not as expensive as some of the other Sun and Moon era boxes. But it's still quite pricey. This is a cool, very colorful looking trainer card. And I believe it's the most expensive card in the set. Might be wrong, but I believe it is. And this is insane. Like $130, that's crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if these cards just keep going up and up and up, especially Sun and Moon era ones. Like I say, just like all the others, really, really hard to get. And overall, I think this is a great little trainer card. I'm in at number three though. All right, number two. We have my girl Skylar. I absolutely love Skylar. One of my favorite trainer cards. Boundaries crossed again. Expensive. <laughs> Expensive. This card is $187. We go back six months. And it's, it did peak over 200 quite comfortably. And it just dropped recently. Again, I would buy this individually. I wouldn't try and pull this. It is expensive though. At number two, it is very expensive. Pushing that $200 mark. This is cool. Beautiful. I love Skylar. I like the one from Shining Fates. It's not going to be anywhere near as expensive as this one. But overall, this is a great one. And I don't really see this around much. I don't really see people like you know, trying to sell this card or anything like that. Probably graded. This is going to be a great one to get as well. But boundaries crossed just like all the others. It is worth not trying to open this. 
for sure. All right, guys, before we get into the number one pick, if you enjoyed this video so far, make sure to smash that like button and make sure you're subscribed for more Pokemon content just like this one. And comment down below which one of these is your favorite trainer card or you own any of these. That's what I want to know. My personal favorite is Skylar. I really like Skylar as a trainer card. And I also really like Cynthia. They're the two I like the most. All right, let's see what number one is. Number one, we have Lily from Ultra Prism. $241. Crazy. Crazy. Let's take a look at this, right? So it was Tooth A and it's gone around Tooth 4. It's just expensive. It is by far the most expensive trainer card, period. It is also the most expensive card in Ultra Prism. It is a great, great pickup. If you can pick, if you can open this, it's amazing. Ultra Prism boxes are getting more expensive. You do want to open this set down the line. But this is a hard card to pull very difficult so i would try and just pick this up you can pick this one up for cheaper than an ultra prison booster box so i would definitely pick this up for 240 if you have one already and it is in good condition get it graded this is going to be worth money and this is going to keep growing this is probably going to be still the most expensive full art trainer card unless something crazy comes out down the line this is a beautiful beautiful stunning card i really like the look of this 240 dollars though Ooh wee, but yeah, Ultra Prism as the most expensive trainer card. There you have it, guys. So that is the top 10 most expensive trainer cards. I'm not gonna lie, they're all pretty awesome. Some of them I actually do own, others I don't. I actually have the Cynthia and Garchomp from Hidden Fates, and I think that's the only one actually from that list I own. I don't think I own all the rest, but I do want to pick them up, you know, especially Skylar, that Lily as well from Ultra Prism is expensive. And uh, yeah, overall, these are great trainer cards. A lot of them are from the Sun and Moon era, but then some of them are from older sets as well. So it is cheaper to pick them up as a single card rather than try and crack the packs. Just because booster boxes are hard to find and getting really, really expensive. We have to wait and see if any Sword and Shield era trainers ever reach this top 10 list. Well, only time will tell. Anyway, guys, that is it from me in this video. As always, thank you all so much for watching. You guys are legends and I'll see you in the next one.